heed my tale of time's beginning. All was dark. There was no sand. There was no sea. No earth. Nor sky. No grass. Nor wind. Till fire met ice in the gasping void. And from this green came the giant Ymir, first of all beings. Proud Ymir, cruelly killed. Yet from whose bones and blood and brains the world was made. The world you walk and war upon. Eivor, here's a tune for you. On to live in your step. Go. So, you see how came? Yes, good. Come, Eva. Uh, did you find the, the ring? Yes. Now, now for our little plan. You see us talking, quiet as we would mouse, and surprise him with our gift. You hold it out, like this, and look him in the eyes and you say, Stirbjörn King, may our clans be forever bonded in friendship and in love. I think you can do that for me. Good. Tonight, you will be the court that unite our people. I'm so proud of you. Get up, Olaf. Stay lucid, friend. My sword is grown greedy. I'm ready to fight. So nice having all of these hearty folk in our home. Oh, no drink in your fist? Come on, I'll find you something. I can't. I have it sent you for your father. Oh, what a piece. That must be worth two sturdy long chips. Give it here. I'll pass it on. My father asked me, Sigurd. Suit yourself. But you're not getting any mead. Like a satyr works through my hammer. <laughs> Have the ring? Good. This was worn by your grandfather in a battle on the Northern Way. Mother? Yes. Can we show Sigurd the can stones we stacked yesterday? That's a good idea. We'll do that in the morning. First light.
Forever bonded in friendship and love. <gasps> Thank you, Eivor. Now and forever, I am pledged to you. <laughs> Hearken well in Hall of Kings. <sighs> An ocean steed, my words gain wings. Odin's mead I forth will bring The noble deeds that gonna sing The brave men slain, Valkyria wakes Rewards for strain to our little takes And horns resound the mighty horn You, Paper. Not just yet. It is foretold. The curtains are raised. Nothing is true until it is severed from the branches of Yggdrasil. Thank <laughs> you. 
streams overlapped in the same DNA. Not sure why. Fix this or pull me out. I can parse the streams with a filter. Hold on. Okay, we're good. Are we? I don't know what happened, but I can work around it. You'll have to pick a stream to keep things stable. There's a third option, too. I can let the Animus modulate your identity based on signal strength. It's up to you. All right, I'll lock it in and push ahead to a time where these streams are more synchronized. How long have you been chasing me, Wolfkist? Seventeen winters? Eighteen? Do I now haunt your dreams? Do I warm your loins? <laughs> you remember this? Ah, oh, your father's axe. The weapon of a coward. A scorn snake. Ah, few things would please me more than to kill with this blade. But I know you would defy me to the death, fighting for a glorious end. That I will not allow. You will live your final days enthralled as a slave, humiliated. Your death will be a lonely one. <laughs> Kill the rest of his crew! Make them suffer! Ava Wolfkist is no more! That name is dead to this world! You will be worth your weight in silver. <laughs> To the ship! You move... ...and I take your eyes, you hear me? Wind's blowing from the south! We can tack north, then cut west. Now, what did I just tell you?
not see you, old friend. Show me. of iron. There's fighting nearby. Thank you old hound. You live. I do. Slipped away in the sword clash. And what of you? Kyotve tried to sell me off. A mistake he will regret. Not today he won't. I saw him board a ship at Aval's Nest not long ago. Sailed east, leaving our crew behind. There must still be time to save our men. I will find them. You ready the longship? You glory hound! You would take the rescue for yourself, so the victory song is written about you! I could storm the beach then. Slay two dozen men, seize our dragon boat, and hoist the sail in triumph. Up to you. No, no, I will take the beach. A far more dangerous path. You search the longhouse for our crew. Oh, and here. This corpse will not have need of it. Go. I will meet you by the ship. through Arvald's nest like lice. If I use the main gate, I may attract attention. This place is heavily guarded. The longhouse. The crew should be inside. There should be an opening in the roof. will miss your neck. Unpleasant for both of us. If I'm to die, I want to make a mess of it, Bakraut. <laughs> you coward! Unbind me and stick an axe in my hand! I owe you nothing, raven shit. 
Yours is a clan of thralls and peasants. You! Lay that axe aside or die by mine! You should be on a slave ship to Ireland, Wolfkist! But if you wish to be my first sacrifice, Odin will be more than happy to receive you. You just killed yourself, Erki. Sell you to hell herself! Kneel, Wolf Kist, and I will spare your life. Shut your hole and fight! You suck of shit! Father, you should have held on to this until the bitter end. If I give my life, will you spare my clan? Let it no! Pick up your axe! Kill them all! No! Find us. What? Oh, yes, of course. Ah, oh, thank you, my Wolf friend. Kist, even if your wits were somewhat rattled. Listen here. If you can breathe, you can fight. Now come. We take back our ship. Come here, you do not need to tell us. My back. Bolting, shoot there. Something like, I was stupid, selfish, reckless, blind, bold-headed, and I smell like blood and shit? I like my version better. Eivor, look! Someone is setting up an outpost on that island. Kjotvi's men, gnawing at any piece of open land like dogs worrying a bone. Even with you half in the grave, we could easily take them.
Run up, let's go! Jotla will come for us now, harder and stronger than before. No surprise there. This war spun on for three generations. I hardly expected. I could warm my balls on it! Would you not prefer a pair of sealskin breeches? Just take care, Eivor! Such hatred can make you careless! What he did to your father, he did to all of us! You are not in this fight alone! King Sterbjorn will scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course he will. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I'm right. Until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling into the breeze. What will you tell our king about this misadventure? Only the truth. That we attacked Jotlis fortress, killed his men, and weakened his control of this land. Will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a thrall? Will that be part of your saga? If there's a skald who dare sing that verse, it will be his last song. you, Eivor. For good this time. A warm welcome as always, Landry. You look like red and shit. What happened? Nothing to crow about, except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough. Though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king, he is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. But we killed many of Kyotr's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. After so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters, it stirred something in me. A feeling I have not had since. The day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Valka. She could help me make sense of my... feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor. Just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. Trading a needle for an arrow, I see. Eivor, can you teach me the art of archery? I would be happy to. See how I'm standing. Plant your feet in the ground, no wider than your shoulders. 
Thank you, Avon. Now, I have something for you. See, all in the eye. Thank you, Eivor. As a gift, I could design a new tattoo for you. Something to decorate your scar. A kind offer, but I want this scar visible. Oh, I did not mean to offend. In any case, I do have a tattoo for you. Sit a while and play, friend. something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor! Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade. I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. Are you sure? The fates have will it so. That should... Do you need anything else? And how are you? Yeah, well, I... <sighs> Valk... Lower. That's all for now. Return it. Must be finished now. If you have any other business, it may be wise to do it now. Let him cool down. I could speak to Volker first. Get this weight off my mind. The king is not going anywhere.
Valka. Hush. I need silence to hear the songs of nature. Hamuram. Hamuram. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I... I have come for your advice. On a private matter. Come. Is your mother well? Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come. But she has me. Now, let her speak to your needs. I have had a vision. A powerful vision. It may have been my battle lust, or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf howling in fears, and then a figure. A grey beard in a cloak with a single eye. He bid me follow him. Ah, the High One. He calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you. Deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly and unravel the threads that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. What are you brewing? An elixir to loosen your hugur and unwind your thoughts. You will enter a waking sleep and journey to the world of dreams. It may confuse or disorient you, but you must take note of all you see. Drink. If you seek true understanding. I saw nothing, Volka. Felt nothing. Harvey! Harvey! I walk among the dead. Sigurd. Sigurd! Brother, when did you arrive? the way, Harvey. Our fates are fixed. Sing it!
happened? This was not for you, Javi. It is Valka. I am here. Gods, I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I, I, I was on a mountain, in a, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a, a wolf. Mm -hmm. I saw Odin and the Nornir spinning the threads of fate. They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path, what lies before you, and where it ends. And the wolf was eager for my attention, as if it were beckoning me to follow. You are the wolfkist, fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition. ...or your fear. I saw the gates to Odin's Hall of Slain Champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla... ...for which you are destined. I do not know what else to say. My, my memories are faint... ...hazy. Did you reach the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there... ...wounded... ...in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared, the size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I awoke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of you will betray your brother, Sigurd. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He's my... The Nordnir have spoken, and... No! This is wrong! You will betray... Odin fought again! Looking rough you are. Welcome home. Can I interest you in a game of Orlok? Yeah. They must be finished now. The king has called for his best mead, so the talks are concluded. It should be safe to enter. I'm ready to face the thunder. I will speak with the king now. Excellent, King Stierbjorn. I will take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can hope for. May the... May the winds favor your voyage, Guthormer. Eivor, come forward and explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy 
gaining alliances. Waiting until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies and our victory is guaranteed. Do we have any allies to speak of? Or is that your excuse to do nothing? Your confidence blinds you to so much in plain sight, Eivor. Day and night I toil to forge ties with clans to the north. Very soon you will see the fruits of my efforts. Only then will you understand. Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Varin. Your father was a fine man. Just and loyal to me, he died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go! Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained. Until it's wiped clean, I want nothing else. I refuse to pick at that wound again. But if there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts... Sigurd has come! Down at the docks, his ship is here! Hey, hey, careful with that one. Hey, Vod! See you good. <laughs> oh, look at you, blood soaked drinker. Oh, have you been worrying without me? Oh, and you, salt cured by Kinga. I smell the stink of a dozen kingdoms in your beard. It's just the start. Randvi, my dear wife, your husband returns, bringing gifts and riches to share. And new friends, I see. Yes, Basim and Hytham. We met in Miklagat, and they showed me her buried secrets. We are grateful to Sigurd for his invitation and eager to pay tribute to your king. My brother is always very careful with the company he keeps. If you're standing safely beside him. He must like you. Ah, Eivor. Save the introductions until our bellies are full. I will see my father. Tell him of my time away. This morning we traded with a ship passing south. They told us Eivor the Wolf Kist was captured by Kjotve's men. They must have cut the tail short. I killed my captors and recovered my crew. And for that your father scolded me. You know where I stand, brother. Nothing short of war will dislodge Kjotve from our lands. But he disagrees. I know. I know. Father thinks too much and acts too little. Today that changes. I promise you. By the winter's end, the name Kjotve the Cruel will be a curse on the lips of a drunken fool. My son, welcome home. Uh, father. Tonight we feast and celebrate your return, Sigurd. The tables are laid with barley and lamb, bread and mead. And no more, I beg you. I want nothing you would not serve a thrall. Let me be the one to honor you. I bring gifts and tales from faraway lands. After two winters away, I am full up with both. Very well, very well. Come inside. And when we are fat and satisfied, father, we will talk of Kjotve and his clan, and how we may end their terror once and for all. He has dogged us too long, shamed us for too many seasons. I know this. Eivor knows this. It ends now. Yes, of course, when the time is right.
Through Rusland we barreled down the Volga River, raiding as we went, shadowy tribes hurling spears at our ship. At Miklagard, we saw men bedecked in riches as vibrant as the Biverest itself. And these we took for our troubles, of course. We sailed to Rome, then Africa, past oceans of sand, warriors of all colors, and beauty the eyes must weep to behold. And now I have returned, with riches and glory to share with my family, my friends, my eyes for Strengir. So take what you desire from my horn. For this, this is only a taste of things to come. Tomorrow, the Raven Clan starts anew. Skull, Sigurd. Skull! And you, Eivor, come. I have something special for you. <laughs> this way, your gift awaits. I thought long and hard on a gift worthy of you. You've snared my curiosity, brother. What is it? Not yet. Drinks first. <laughs> to my first night in Fornberg in over two winters, it must end with me soaked and wall-eyed, shouting at the shadows of trolls. And you want me to sail with you on these honey waves? Yes. You are stuck with me, Dringur. Now drink. Who thought to shame? Forgive me. On your first day back, I should have let you win. <laughs> Gods, you should have let me start. It's good to have you back, Sigurd. Yes. I've missed this terribly. When I first met Basin, I regaled him with tales of our homeland. And it was then I felt a hard longing to return at once. <laughs> Come. This brings us to your gift. These excellent men were my shepherds through much of their homeland, the Abbasid Caliphate. They are a clan not joined by blood, but by a common idea. A brotherhood of shadows executing their own form of justice. In my time with them, they shared many of their most hidden secrets, for which I am grateful. And now... I gift one of these secrets to you. A weapon for the finest warrior I know. Beautiful craftsmanship. What kind of smith makes a weapon like this? It is less a weapon than a tool. One we have used for centuries to fight injustice and evil. Mentor, I must protest. This is deeply unorthodox. Our wrist blade is a sacred tool. Do not tool. make a fetish out of cold metal, Haifa. What matters is the mind of the one who wields it. Please, try it on. The blade should ride on the underside of your arm, to conceal it from your target. I have no wish to hide this, and I would rather not make the same mistake you two have. I like it. This is no mistake. This is a voluntary sacrifice to prove our devotion to... A good start, Eivor. But you must learn how to use it effectively. Outside. This is not something for all eyes. Lead on. <laughs> this clan of yours, it has a name? Indeed. But among the tenants of our creed is a vow to never reveal too much to outsiders. In time, you may learn more. Not here. 
where the walls and trees may have ears. I look forward to it. Here, let me lead you through our most basic techniques. Wielded with skill and care, our blade delivers a singular killing blow. As you near your target, find your window to strike. Timing is essential. Excellent! I have not seen a blade so sharp. Some targets are trickier than others. Keep that in mind before you strike. A decent attempt. <laughs> Take that one down from the ledge. Exactly, just like that. How about a challenge? Leap down upon that target from above. That's it. Use your surroundings when possible. Strike from that haystack, for instance. A perfect strike. Mentor, does Eivor intend to join us? Not that I am aware. Then why offer him the blade? Surely we have more... Python. Hush. Exactly, just like that. You wield the blade well. Let us leave Eivor to enjoy his gift in peace. Come. Eivor, let us walk to the docks and take in the night air. What do you make of my new friends? They seem generous, and menacing in equal measure. I know what you mean. They have learning, too. They wield numbers and writing, as if it were magic. Basim has shown me so much about the world, all of which I will share with you when the time is right. Oh, I miss the smell of this land. Have you returned for good? Or do you mean to join this Shadow Brotherhood? Leave all that aside, Ivor. Tonight we are family again. The here and now is what matters. Our kinship. Our clan. Our glory. I missed you, brother. Your clear head and your courage. We have not had enough of both in recent months. <laughs> you flatter me, Wolfkist. Keep it up. From here to Valhalla, I will always be on your side, Sigurd. Always. This fjord has grown too small to contain me, or I too large. There is so much more beyond these stony fangs that rise around us. England, Ireland, Francia, all greener pastures, ripe for the plucking. Tomorrow, we make new war on Kyrtve. ...and reclaim the lands he took from us. And from there... ...we build a kingdom... ...for us. I'm with you. Only say the word. Good. Get some rest... ...and return here at first light. The Nordnir have spoken. You will betray Sigurd. No! This is wrong! That cannot be right! Ah! Odin fought against his fate! It can be done! Ah! You will betray Sigurd. Shit! Kjotve's warriors! Show me what lies ahead.
bad feeling, just the three of us. We should return to Mars. With each day we wait, Kjotve grows stronger. I speak. We do not have the men to storm Kjotve's fortress. The, lo the losses had the god spies in our camp. Three men sent by Kjotve to kill us as we slept. I returned the favor. There, you see? This is what waiting brings. We must answer this insult. They came from Nautful, that whaling village under Kjotve's control. We hid him there. Burn it down before Kjotve learns his spies are dead. He may have sent more. I can search the village while you round up the crew. No need. I will send Hytham to search the area. You can rely on him while we are away. We? Do you mean to join us? I have not been bred for Valhalla like you, but this will be far from my first battle. I do not like this, but I will not stop you. Do not lead my son into the same storm that follows you. Row our way out. More sail! Warriors! Bring it! When I was away, far from these frozen shores, wondering if I should ever see home again, I grew afraid. Afraid I would not return in time to see Kurtve's end. Afraid! I would not see him bleed out like a stuck pig in a drift of snow! Home in time to join those I have missed, those I love, in this glorious fight. Today we seize Nokfal from Kirtle. Tonight his heart Sail will pulse out. with worry. Tomorrow it will burst from fear. Ah! He will beseech the gods for aid. For they will be deaf to his cries. And soon the Raven Clan will feast on his death. <laughs> you know these isles best, Wolfkist. Lead us to victory. I will show the way, but you must lead us there. Oh, hey, Ward. I missed having you at my side. How I wished I could have taken you along on my travels. Stirpion did not trust fate for both our lives. You have no reason to fear. Together, we are unstoppable.
come. Ships are coming. Land. You reap a bloody harvest. Who are you, Gester? Name yourself. I know his face. He met with your father not long ago. I did, indeed. I am Guthorm, uncle to King Harold of the North. I speak for my nephew when there is need. This is not King Harold's land. Why does he send warriors so far south? You may ask him yourself, my lord. Thank you, Uncle. And you are Sigurd of the Raven Clan, is that right? Son of the wise King Stebjorn. I am. And you are standing on his land, King Harald. Land we have reclaimed with blood and steel. That I see, and I honor it. For I have not come to war against you, but for you, at the request of your father. The Canny Wolf. Was this the plan he spoke of? I offer my support. With my warriors, your Raven Clan can take Kirtway's fortress and settle this rivalry for good. This is good news, Eivor. The Wandering King will tip our fortunes. Why risk your men to help us, King? Have you a stake in this fight? This war between Kirtway's clan and your own has long simmered on my southern border. I wish to see it put to rest. There will be no peace while Ketway lives. But there is much agreement between your father and me. This blood feud runs deep, King Harald. We welcome your help, but I must lead the charge. I see. Is this a question of honor? It is. Many winters ago, Ketway broke an oath to our fathers. He betrayed a friendly peace and slaughtered many. I understand. Sigurd Jarl will lead the assault against Ketway and his clan. Give him full command of my ships and my warriors. When your victory is in hand, Sigurd, find me at Alrekstadir, and we will celebrate together. Our men will gather at Florley, near the mouth of the fjord northeast of here. Will you join us? Hold a moment. You captain our longship, Eivor. Meet us there, and we will claim Kurtvis' head for the gods. Brother, I have waited too many years for this day. When Kjotve stands before us, give me the final blow. You will have it, Eivor. You deserve it. Eivor! Give us a hand! Harald is generous with his troops. More than I would be. I cannot fathom his game. He is either a young fool, or deceptively wise. Whatever his reason, I have a good feeling this war is near its end.
Eivor, you missed the opening act. Kurtwe's forward camp melted like a spring thaw at our approach. Is it from here we launch our attack? We do indeed, and we are ready to fight. King Harold's forces are well in place. Only give the word. I will, but before we strike, I have a request. Name it. That Eivor may give challenge to Kurtve at the gate of his fortress. A battle to the death in single combat. Is... is this what you want? Kurtve robbed my father of all honor and dignity. I will win it back. When honor is at stake, let none interfere. And if Kurtve should die before the battle begins, all the better for our chances. Today my blade must do the work of Skuld's sharp scissors, and cut short the cord of Kjotve's fate. Well said, my sharp-tongued warrior scout. May we all live to hear that saga sung. Eivor, a word! Basim, Hytham. This feud is not yours, yet you fight it all the same. I find that strange. You find it strange because you are wrong. Our clan, the Hidden Ones, have been fighting with Kjotve's order for centuries. You came from Miklagard to kill Kjotve yourself? We did. Or rather, we came so that Hytham could kill him. My apprentice has been studying this target for many months. Is Kjotve's reputation so great outside Norway? Not his reputation alone. But the order to which he belongs. Something of a rival clan to our own. Hytham, I mean no disrespect to you or the Hidden Ones. But Kjotve is mine. My family's honor is at stake. I understand. All that matters is that Kjotve dies this day. On that, we are agreed. Sigurd is only here to watch me feed your innards to my raven. Look at this! <laughs> Once again, Abel Wolfkist appears to take a swipe at me! This... This is my father's shame. Today I take back the honor he lost. I call a home gang! Here! Against the Oathbreaker! I will make you beg, as your father begged, Wolfkiss. Squeal, as your mother squealed. You destroyed my life! I will take yours! You are weak, like your father was weak! I need no weapons but these hands!
bonds me. You have won your price, Wolf Kist. The glory of my death. All for this? The coward father is empty sacrifice. Heed the price of our war, Lord Kist. The harvest of three dead generations. All their names are known. It all means nothing. No. My plan will not be forgotten! I fought as I did, as hard as I did, to survive, for I know what awaits us in the end. Holy darkness. <laughs> if you must, into the crucible of your doom. Your father is dead, Gorham. His debt repaid. Open the gates and you will be spared. Wallow in shit, wolf kissed. Archers, take aim. Ravens, show no mercy. Archers, fire. This way. Glory! Fire! 
has made you predictable. You are a shadow of your father, Gorn. Weak and witless. And you will leave this place as ashes on the wind. dies twice today. The breath of battle rises from my brow. The scouts will sing of this night. We have won the day, but Gorm escaped. He fled north to King Harald's domain. Let that bruised piglet run where he may. His father is dead. His clan is no more. We are the masters of Ruyavilke. A toothless cup may grow to be a dangerous wolf. Eivor, stop. And listen. You have reclaimed your honor. Enjoy the night's victory. Tomorrow, we will celebrate. You're right, brother. You're always right. Guth Ormur, relay news of our victory to your nephew, the king. I have done so already, Sigurd. He'll be more than pleased. and will ensure you pride of place at his holding at Ulrichstadir. Tell him we will come. Battle first and singing songs of glory. Keep company with kings, and you will soon have a crown of your own. <laughs> if the fates have spun it so, linger here and loot what you can. I will bring news of our victory to father before he leaves for Harald's outing. I know, Sunan. Another time. face, blend into the crowd, divert attention, hide in plain sight. A gift of knowledge from a man I hardly know. Is this your way of asking me to join your brotherhood? Not at all. So long as men and women fight to secure honor and freedom, the religions hardly matters to me. I suppose there's no shame in using deception when honor is at stake. And Gorham is a stain on that honor. Then let's see what can be done to cleanse that stain. Give it a try. A few things you should know before you step into his camp. Walking unseen through hostile territory is an exercise in subtlety. A hood makes you forgettable. Dismissed at a distance. Remain far from watchful eyes, and you will be invisible to them. Do not draw blade or hammer, for these and other sudden movements can break your disguise. And in case I wasn't clear, you will need to put up your hood for the trick to work. is there, in the camp ahead. What were you thinking? Drinking mead on an empty stomach? Uh, you have to eat something before... Evil! You Arka shit! Take up your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. So fuck you and your god talk. What say you to that? Ah! <laughs> 
You can beat me, but you will not kill me. Not under Harold's truce. You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. I will give you no trouble. You were shed into this world without honor, Gorm. And you will leave as a turd dumped into Hell's deepest ditch. Keep crowing, Eivor. You only make yourself an easier target. The all thing will have started. I should find Sigurd. Your eyes, my friend. speeches. Only when you're not giving them. Many of you knew my father, half done the- They buried- They buried him! I dream of something great. Too much blood has been- And who better to lead us to- But they say a wise king- I am not your enemy. This saddens me, noble girl. My husband. I'm sad to lose a- My king! Gorm Kurtveson. The Raven Clan did- Back! Hold, Eivor. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm. And a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Ava a wolf kissed. You are Kurtway's slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? I would send him to hell as I did his father. Understandable. But a quick death is too good for a Draugr like him. Gorm, I name you Worm and call you Exile. Leave these lands by the next full moon or I will feed you to the crows myself. King Harold, may I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me, not a word, and I will not yield a title that should be mine by right. Then war will continue. Men will die, villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall, you'll drink adult cow, alone and toothless in a bed of straw. Forgive my son. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, Stebjörn Jarl, and I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear chains, to resist it. 
But all things change and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. That was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stupion's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not... Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. My fate is tied to my brothers. I wish I understood you better. For those I do not understand, I do not trust. You have nothing to fear from me, King Harald. My loyalty lies with my brother. Then know that if you stay in Norway, both you and your brother must serve under me. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight, we will eat and drink like gods. Harold's colors. He is already marking his territory. Marking? Gods, he's spraying like a horny pup. Harold may be young, but he's clever. Do not underestimate him. He came of age very quickly. Asked about this lad, my friend. What are you doing? If you wish to have words, come closer. Come. A little dice never caused any harm. Eivor, open the door. Come in, but keep your voice down. We will alert Harald's men. Where will we live? The English will fight back. Two days ago, we rid this land, but it need not be like this. Did you know about... I did not. We cannot stay in all to England. The sons of Ragnar love... More than enough, wife. I have no desire to... A saga for... It will take time and reason. No. You would start a Kyotvis riches would go some way to our leaving my If we go, we will need all the help we I abhor Stirpian will To England then and tighten your lips. How much enough. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I can't. Like the way those soldiers watch me. I find it flattering. Eivor, the wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick The dream of new lands is a pa As is the promise of glory. But the act of leaving so beloved. Having doubts? No. Then let fate. I'm ready. That chance has passed. Look. Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. Sigurd! An exit, father. Nonsense. Your play. My choice is. There's nothing for me here. And you have plundered Fornberg's resources. You left me no choice. I entered the Alv. There are always choices, Sigurd. I'm. <sighs> Seventeen. I should have left you to the wolves. Sad old elk. Do not carry his words with you to England. He brought this day upon himself. I know. The time for tears is over, you weeping sacks of wool! Put some muscle into those pools! Ration your strength, dog. We have an ocean to cross. All right, you lazy back routes. Sigurd! Sigurd! Of course! The sons of Ragnar established a settlement near the coast. We set sail for that. Ragi, sing a song to lift our hoof. To rouse the gods! Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way! 
An ocean lies before us, Eivor. And on its far sides, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your troubles. I spent a season in their kingdom of Mercia. A temperate land, lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. Do we mean to join their army? They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Ravenclaw and the glory we brought to that fractured land. So to England! Glory and destiny! To England! To England! Or Valhalla! Thank you. You're a long way from home, Eivor. Hmm. Did you get my tea? Oof. Okay, hey, that's how about get another. I, that's well. Right, okay. All right, time to go. Norway to England takes about a week by long ship, so I'll scrub ahead. Layla, you okay? We have no. Uh, that's a bolt here. Um, that, okay. Here we This land our own soon enough. I'm glad to see any land at all. I will be happy to have my feet on solid ground again. We must not rush our landing. All you see here is Saxon territory. The Kingdom of Mercia, largely unpacified. There will be eyes watching us from the trees, with bows drawn and traps set. We must be wary. Randy, take in your oars, all standing. Have you spotted something? Not yet. Well, let us go ahead to clear the path of any dangers. Then follow our lead when the sun brushes the horizon. Understood. May Thor bless you all on your way. We will see you soon. Say on. Yes. I'm ready for whatever these green-thumbed fairy folk have to throw at us. Sigurd, do the sons of Ragnar know that we're coming? They do not, for they will not scoff at our visit. Of the four kingdoms in England, the sons of Ragnar have settled only one. The rest is ripe for the taking. Do we mean to join their army? No! No! We will speak with them, get the lay of the land, and carve this country into as many pieces as we see fit. Look ahead there! Is that what passes for a town? Plain brick in a single room to their timid god? That rune is called a root, Doug. The cross upon which their god was sacrificed. It sits atop a monastery, a place of worship. That cross killed their Christ, and now they display it in worship? Bizarre. We carve idols of our gods and make wishes before them, like our sacrifices to Odin, the One-Eyed. But we do not worship the wolf that kills him. That is the difference. Whatever strangeness we see in these Saxons, they must think the same of us. The hammer! Now there is a symbol worthy of a god. A bolt of lightning would take that cross clean off! Look there! What are they doing? 
ritual drowning. Baptism, Dad. Are the ways of Christians really so unfamiliar to you? Not at all. I simply forgot. And someone has to keep the conversation up. It must be priests and worshippers alone in that place. We could storm this port with ease. Sack it without breaking a sweat. Is there much in the way of treasure there? Always! They shape precious metals and cut jewels to their gods. There will be a fortune there. Later, Dag. There will be time enough for raiding once we have settled. Come to stop the boat. Pull up over there. Way forward is blocked by a chain spanning the river. We must remove it before passing on. A chain? Can we cut through it? It's too thick for access. But there must be a way to release it somewhere in that camp. I will go. And I will be right behind you. No, Dad. You stay here. Should trouble come our way, I want you defending the ship. A good idea. Send out the arrow and keep your sharpest axe at hand, huh? Something like that. What's got into you? Hey! Cut it out! attack on site here. Barring any more surprises. Fine work, Eagle. I say we go back, Sigurd. Give those dogs a good knock around and take whatever treasures they have. Easy pickings. Not today, Dad. We press on until we reach our goal. We cannot afford another surprise. Now be on your guard. It should not be far. Gods, I'm ravenous. I hope they have food and ale on hand when we arrive. You should have sent word ahead of us, Sigurd, to get something on the spit. If Havdan, Uba, and Ivar Ragnarsson are lacking food in England, then all of us will starve. <laughs> have no worry. Ah, I can see it now. A suckling pig tender and juicy, and the ale as gold as the treasures that we failed to steal back there. A man of simple pleasures, aren't you, Dag? And he is happier for it. For my part, I look forward to standing in the footsteps of the giants that built this land. What giants? The great Romans and their empire. Giants of a forgotten age. They held dominion here long ago, and their ruins dot the landscape. Every brick and stone tells a story of conquest and glory. And now, they are rubble and ash. Ready to be remade. We will rebuild their empire, brick by brick. And ours will not crumble to dust. All things end, dog. Ruins are not a warning. They are a testament. Look there, just ahead. Where the sons of Ragnar make their camp. At last, to find our feet on steady ground. Sigurd, hold back. Something isn't right. Good eye. There's too little movement for an army. Only tents and a few men. 
Not the armor you hope to find. No. Let us get a closer look. Those are not Norsemen. They're too ragged and soiled. We should proceed on foot, lest they spot the boats. Dag and I will go together. We all go. If they are friends, I wish to meet them as a guard. And if they are foes, then we fight them all to get them. Who are these men? They speak with twisted accents. English, no doubt. Dark Eivor! On me! Oi, what's this? A mess of filthy Danes befouling you there. Give us your name. I am Sigurd Jarl, or for men who do not take kindly to Dane invade. You'd best move along. You threat. I have been eight days at sea without a. Let's finish them! Surprises. Right. I'll check the longhouse. Are you with those things, well? Sigurd, Dad, look in here. Those men had prisoners. Quite, but we are very agree. Peace, friend. Yenli. Rowan, that's right. They meant to sell us next. And how did you... We came to trade with the sons. Unbind them. You know all this... Aye. From the look of this camp, they've been... Repeat my stocks. Every town and village needs it. What do you think? That we could use their skills as we get... Set. My thoughts as well. Any friend of the... Whatever you think is best, Sigurd. Yenli, both of you are free to go, but more than welcome to stay. We'd be happy to. Then let it be done. From strength, the others have... I have a good feeling about this place. Honored family, friends, welcome to your new home.
fine work. A long house to rival Ed. Now come. Randvi has found some. Eivor, Sigurd, Mercia, East Anglia, Northumbria. From the few plans and maps I discovered here, I believe the sons of Ragnar have pushed further into. My scouts will soon tell me if I am correct. And where are we? Here, in this unnamed copse of trees. Unnamed? I might have an idea. Ravenstorp. The bit. Hmm. I like it. A name is only a beginning. If we want renown, we must be- Agreed. We should begin with a forge. We'll need cargo, supplies. For that our neighbors- Scarcely arrived, and now we must raid. We cannot master this land merely by- I'll go and speak with Gunnar now. Good work, my dear. And what else have you found? Short notes, mostly. Scraps of plan.